So you wanna get a gear advantage from the day one of the wipe? I'm going to show you the cheapest way to farm rogues on lighthouse using the gear from level 1 traders. Let's begin. So the gear we are going to be running is the VPO215 with echo bullets. We are going to purchase the pillared 4x scope and UTG 25mm mount. All of this can be purchased from level 1 Jaeger. For helmet we are going to purchase the 6P47 helmet from Frapper level 1. For headset we are going to get the M32s from Skier level 1. For vest we are going to go with Paka armor so that we are not dying to scavs easily. Make sure you ensure your gear because we will be dumping most of it once we get the good loot from rogues. One important thing, make sure you do carry some cash with you for the car extract. It will save you a lot of time and it will be safer than all the other extracts for this route. Now I'll show you the route first. Alright guys, we're gonna be following the right side that is the building number 3 route into the water treatment. Since we are using a VPO, I don't want you to shoot the rogue sitting on building number 2 from here. Though you can do that but the range is I think around 200 meters, let me confirm. Yeah, the range is around 200 meters and we did aggro him, that was not the plan. You ideally want to run through and not aggro him. Now keep running through this wall, I mean along the wall, try not to aggro him, keep running. We'll take care of him when we are closer to him. Make sure there are no ro uh, rogues on the ground. If they are not, you can just directly go in. We're gonna quickly go in into this room. Close it from behind. And this is where the fun starts. Alright, since he's aggroed on me, it's gonna be a little difficult. But what we want is... Around 100 meters zeroing on our VPO. So this is 100 meters zeroing and I'm gonna headshot him like that. Next, we're gonna look at the rogue on the second side, I mean other side of building 2. We're gonna say him to 100 meters zeroing and crouch down, you know, just crouch down so that you can clearly see his head and shoot. That's too dead. Now that's building number one. If you can spot his head, then 200 meters zeroing from here. And shoot. Oh, we got him. That's pretty cool. And again, 200 meters zeroing and shoot his head. We got them both. That was clean, guys. Alright, that's how you clear the road, rogue camp. Now we have to loot. There's still a rogue above us. There could be rogues in the center. And there is a rogue on the back side of building number two. And there could be potentially one more rogue on building number one. What we want is to go to building number two and loot the rogues we killed. So that we are like better equipped for the rest of the match and extract. There is gonna be one more rogue on the building number two. And he's gonna be looking towards the train station. And ideally you want him to be sitting on the gun. But be careful while you're on the roof because you have to clear these angles close range. Alright, there he is. Did he move? I wish I had my hand. He does a 180 so be careful when you push him from behind. Because he does a 180. Alright, alright, we got them all guys. Quickly loot them. Alright, we got an M4. Actually, let's drop this and take his rig. Now we're better equipped for close range fights. Remember, ground rogues in middle. And there could be still a rogue on the building number one and there are two rogues on the front side one and two i don't want to fight them i want to leave them as it is and extract also there's a rogue on building number three i'll show you how to kill him soon 
not bad. We got unlucky with the armors and everything. Alright, what you wanna do is come over here and you should be able to see him. Not 200, 150. Now there are two options from here, if you are loaded with loot, you can just loot the building number 3 rogue and leave through car extract, which is the safest. Or you can go to the building number 1, where you had already killed a few rogues possibly, and loot them and then go back to the car extract. Now I quickly wanna talk about the rogue spawns, when we are entering from building number 3, there are 2 rogue spawns on building number 3. And the 3 rogue spawns on building number 2 and the 3 rogue spawns on building number 1. Now all of them may or may not spawn. It's very rare for all of them to spawn. But you should check for everyone. Then there could be 3 rogues on the ground floor of building 3. 3 on the ground floor of building 2 and 3 on the ground floor of building 1. On top of that there are 2 front rogues and then there could be a group of 3 rogues at the helicopter. So it is must that you know where the rogues are spawning so that you're checking those spawns every time. Now I wanna give you a tip that will improve your survival with this kit. This gun has some limitations. With the 4x scope you're vulnerable close range even to scavs as aiming with magnification can be difficult. So what you can do is whenever you're fighting close or mid range remove the scope and keep it in your safe container. And when you're shooting rogues long range you can use the scope. I hope this video helps you at the start of your vibe and make your vibe journey simpler. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe cause we'll be posting a lot of great content that'll help you in this vibe. That is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, have fun guys. Oh